good morning friends so here uh, we are uh, discussing uh, hagen paisley's equation uh, in fluid dynamics module number 3 of the subject uh, fluid mechanics so uh, considering uh, the fluid element so uh, in a pipe uh, where we uh, we have the viscous uh, fluid flow so we have seen that uh, the shear stress so uh, equation so that is tau is given as uh, del p by del x into r by 2 so uh, we have uh, shear stress will be maximum at the wall so that is uh, when small r is equal to capital r so the fluid element is uh, having the radius smaller and the pipe here is having the radius capital r so exactly at the walls means small r is equal to capital r so shear stress uh, will become maximum so tau becomes tau maximum so uh, tau maximum is equal to minus del p by del x into capital r by 2 so this is the shear stress distribution now coming to velocity distribution so we know that uh, the newton's law of viscosity says that tau is equal to mu into du by dy so y is measured from the wall of the pipe so y is measured here from the pipe wall so if capital r is the radius of the pipe and small r is the radius of the fluid element so now the distance of the fluid element uh, from the pipe is y so that is equal to capital r minus this small r so dy so that is differentiate uh, y here so capital r that is the radius of the pipe is fixed so constant so differentiation of constant is zero and this small r is varying so it is minus dr differentiation of r is dr so it is zero minus dr so dy is equal to minus dr substitute in place of dy as minus dr so tau becomes minus mu into du by dr so now in place of tau that is uh, shear stress we are substituting minus uh, mu into du by dr and we have this shear stress equation so that is a minus del p by del x into r by 2 so rearranging the terms so we have du by dr is equal to 1 minus uh, so 1, 1 minus minus gets cancelled this mu is taken the other side so it becomes 1 by 2 mu of del p by del x into r So integrating this uh, uh, expression of uh, du by dr, so that is uh, with respect to r. So integration of du by dr with respect to r is u. So that is equal to 1 by 4 mu of del p by del x of r square. So and we have integration constant c. So and its value is obtained from the boundary equation that is at r small r is equal to capital R. So that is exactly at the wall. So the velocity of the flow is 0. So u is equal to 0. Substituting u is equal to 0 when uh, small r is equal to capital R. So we are getting uh, constant of integration c so substituting this value of c in the velocity equation so u is equal to 1 by 4 mu of del p by del x into r square plus this value of c is substituted so u here so the value of mu that is uh, uh, coefficient of viscosity then del p by del x and capital R these values are constant so <coughs> the velocity u is varying with square of r 
so that is u is proportional to r square so that means the velocity distribution across the pipe section is parabolic so maximum velocity so that is taking this u velocity equation its velocity distribution at r is equal to 0 that is exactly at the center of the pipe when r is equal to 0 so u will take its maximum value so that is u becomes u max so r is equal to 0 substitute r as 0 so r square becomes 0 so i have only capital r square so u max is equal to minus 1 by 4 mu into del p by del x into capital r square now taking discharge through the pipe so the total discharge through the pipe will be obtained by integrating the discharge uh, through the elementary ring from 0 to capital r so taking the elementary ring so discharge to the elementary ring of thickness uh, dr so we have dq is equal to okay velocity at the radius small r into flow area of the elementary ring so it is flow rate dq now is nothing but the flow rate so that is given by uh, the equation q is equal to av continuity equation so dq is equal to velocity at the radius uh, small r so that is considering this elementary ring here so of uh, radius small r and the thickness of the elementary ring is uh, dr so if this is taken as uh, the cross sectional area of the entire pipe in the cross sectional area of the pipe we are taking one elementary ring of radius small r and the thickness dr so what will be the flow that is the discharge through this elementary ring so that is uh, dq is equal to velocity is now u into flow area is now 2 pi r into dr so substituting u in dq equation so into 2 pi r dr so now total discharge q is integration of dq from 0 to capital r and simplifying so we are getting this equation of q so now average velocity so we know that discharge through the pipe is q is equal to flow area of the pipe into average velocity u bar so u bar is discharge through the pipe q divided by flow area of the entire pipe so q equation we have derived and area of the entire pipe is pi into r square capital r square so we are getting average velocity here so now ratio of the maximum velocity to average velocity u max to u bar so it is proved that u max is equal to 2 times u bar so now the loss of pressure head uh, uh, for a given length of the pipe so here we are having two sections 1 and 2 here so average velocity u bar is known to you we known to us so we have del p by del x uh, rearranging the terms and integrating the above equation from p2 to p1 on left hand side and right hand side it is uh, x2 to x1 so simplifying we are getting loss of pressure head here so hf so that is hagen paisuli's equation thank you